what it really means for you to live a life full of an anxiety free life what it means to live an anxiety free life a worry free life now when scripture says do not be anxious about anything or don't don't be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication it tells you that God has already taken care of what you think he hasn't taken care of really when we think that things have not been taken care of and how are we going to navigate our way through this and how are we going to win this battle don't think about the how once you are in God who is the center of your life and everything leave the house for God and live in a life of victory Be in a place of worship, like we said in our last message. Worship God through your prayers and supplication. Lift up worship unto God. Let Him know He is bigger than that situation. Listen, there are times you would send a bill to probably a manager, or even as we send our school fees to our parents. I mean, sometimes you know the situation in the house. You know what is going on and what can go wrong. But then you are being told that fee is going to be paid. Or the manager tells you that bill is going to be paid. And before the deadline or the timeline, it has already been sorted out. Nobody knows how it happened. But it has happened anyway. In the first place, we didn't know we're coming to this world. Now, but because God is the Alpha and Omega, He knows our end from the beginning. So He has already sorted a lot of things out. Things that we feel they haven't been sorted out are actually sorted out. It is high time you got to know that what you think it hasn't been sorted out has been sorted out. Just, li- just worship. Lift up a worship unto God. I mean, there are times you come to a point that really you cannot do anything about it. So, would you keep worrying and being anxious for nothing? Because you realize that humanly possible, you've done whatsoever you can. But truly, there is nothing you can actually do about the situation. Again, what would you do? Are you going to keep taking anxiety pills? Are you going to still be on that worry panel or still be in that worry mentality and anxiety? Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. Let the one who is worried said, I have no worry at all. Let the one who is troubled say, I have no trouble at all. Let the one who is in situational water say, there is no water at all. Or there is, I can't see the waters anymore. Declare it. Let the one who is in the fire, the fire situation, say that the fire cannot burn me. Because my God is a consuming fire. Let the one who is in the river situation say, the rivers are dried up. Really, the rivers are dried up. Come to that place of worship and worry less. Worship and worry less. Praise God and come out of the pain. So keep this in mind. Many a times when we think about the house, the house bring worry. The thought of how to navigate things bring the anxiety and the worries and the pain and the distraction. They are really a distraction unto you. But when the house are taken off, when you know that God says be anxious for nothing, then it means that he has already taken the how of that situation away. So don't be anxious of it. So now you meet up a situation just as the Israelites were before the Red Sea. 
and Moses was leading them. At that point, I mean, really, there is a Red Sea. We know there is a Red Sea. What are we going to do? You can't, because when they turn, Pharaoh and his people are just behind them, and there is no way they can escape. It's a narrow escape. They can't do anything about it. So at that point, what can they do? But God said, what is in your hand? So what is in your hand? God told Moses, what is in your hand? What is in your hand at this point? Just stretch it on there. Rest it. What can you do at this point? Pray. Lift up the prayer. Lift up the prayer. Do your best. Leave the rest for God. For he says, be anxious for nothing. So it is not for you to know how it's going to happen. But it will happen anyway. He has sorted it out. So be anxious for nothing. Don't think about the house. The thing that will make you worried, take it off. And lift it to God. God, this is the how. I'm giving it to you. Because it's making me anxious. You said I shouldn't be anxious. So I lift up the war, I, I lift up the how it's going to happen. I give it to you. To cast your burdens onto me. For I care for you. So what are the burdens? How you are going to navigate, isn't it? Lift it to God. Cast it to Him. Cast the burden. The burden of the how. Give it to God. The burden of how to navigate. How to walk that path. How to cross the Red Sea. How to become who you want to become. According to God's will for your life. It is God's will. He has already willed it. And so it is for God to take care of it. So lift up that burden. Lift up the anxiety burden. Lift up that worry burden. The how. Anything that is bringing the anxiety. Lift up to God. Because God says be anxious for nothing. So really he doesn't want you to have that anxiety. For you to be on pills or whatsoever. So lift up that burden. Cast it onto him. He says cast your burdens. Because I care. Because I care, I said don't be anxious and cast the burdens. So what are you doing? Because God says he cares. God says he cares. So this is God speaking. Because I said I care, cast the burdens onto me. I care for you. Don't be anxious for anything. What is in your hand? Pray. Pray. At that point, you know you can pray. Because when Moses at that point had to pray, and that was when he was directed to lift up, you know, the rod and show it to the Red Sea. Lift it up and show it to the Red Sea. And it got open. It was parted. Every Red Sea you are facing now will be parted in nanosecond. Every Red Sea will be parted. And every difficult situation will become like a molehill. Every mountain situation will become like a more. It will become nothing. It will come to naught. And that is what it is. Believe God. May God increase your faith. May you come out of any anxiety situation. May you come off any anxiety pill. Because you are a helper. God wants you to go through something. Because Jesus Christ was going to be the high priest, our high priest. He needed to go through our weaknesses and pain and suffering. And so God has made you that helper to go through something. So in as much as it looks difficult and the situation looks bad, appreciate God for you are going to help someone someday. May God bless you. Receive the anointing. Receive the strength. Receive the grace to go through the situation and become stronger and better in Jesus name. Amen.